Now to our series, Flipping the Script, featuring artists in the entertainment industry working to shine a spotlight on diversity. Enter actor Terry Hu. At just 26 years old, Hu is already making a name for themselves as the first ever non-binary actor to have a leading role in a live-action Disney movie. Hu plays Aspen, a blue-haired alien in the film Zombies 3. They're also on Netflix playing the character of Addison, a non-binary private school student in season three of the teen comedy series Never have I ever, who is also an advocate for the LGBTQ community, AAPI community, and an outspoken supporter of people suffering from mental health. I talked to them about their history-making roles and the changing landscape of the entertainment world. You're in the hit Netflix show, Never Have I Ever. You're in the Disney movie, Zombies 3. We need to find their most precious thing. And in both, you do play a non-binary character. Help us understand, I mean, how significant is that and how much does that mean to you? So when I booked Zombies 3, they were like, yeah, we can make Aspen my character name, non-binary. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. And on a personal level, I was just like, this is my first feature. This is so cool. I don't think I was thinking like, I'm here to make history. You know, like, I don't think that's a sustainable sort of thought process to have. Um, but I obviously was very, very grateful. And I could recognize like the importance of what they were doing. I'm going to disengage our emotional suppressors. Personally, I'm excited to see what emotions feel like. That being said, it wasn't until like fans started reaching out when my casting got announced and they were like, this means so much to me. Like I didn't know what non-binary was when I was growing up. So it was really, really cool to see these like kids and you know, like the younger generation know all these things. And that's what made it really meaningful to me. I'm just really happy. To be a part of anyone's journey towards like their authenticity is a really huge honor, I think. How are you flipping the script? You know, my, my character is uh, queer and non-binary and, you know, they use they them pronouns and I, as do I. And I think this is just something that, like, anyone who grew up watching Disney, myself included, could not have fathomed. It's a very normalized thing. Like, the, the movie doesn't make it a huge part. It's just very normalized. Like, the character just is non-binary and queer. Uh, and I think that that is a huge script flip. Let's talk about growing up. Uh, you know, when I was younger, there wasn't much for me to see on TV or in movies. That has changed with time. What was your experience like growing up? I didn't see a lot of examples. I can't think of like queer or non-binary at all, but it was, for me growing up, it was mainly about Asian representation even, because I was just thinking like, could I even audition as like an Asian person? Like, are there any roles for me? So I think there were two different sides, yeah. Things have changed a lot, haven't they? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and obviously, like, there's so much work to be done and, like, still a long way to go. But, yeah, I, I feel it, too. And, like, it, even in the past 10 years, I think, there are things I'm doing and things I'm part of that I could not have fathomed from 10 years ago. When you were growing up, you did some acting. And then when you went to college, what is it you studied? I majored in neuroscience. <laughs> She's not like acting at all. No, I'm not using that at all. So now I'm like an actor stereotype. But um, no, I, yeah, I was going to go to physical therapy school. And so I got into schools after graduating and everything. I decided to defer, pursue acting, and the rest is history. And maybe someday it'll come in handy, right? Yeah, honestly, I hope so. Neurosurgeon, uh, Grey's Anatomy, cast me. For those who are watching you right now, and whether they are a young aspiring Asian actor or queer non-binary, what's the biggest advice you can give them if they say, I'm looking right now at you and I wanna be just like you? Um, I think, firstly, know that it's possible. I think that was something when I was younger, I wish I had seen more, like hopefully me just existing on screen, whether you even like my character or not, just visually seeing me, it's like, you're possible, like it is possible. But also um, just to, to give yourself like grace through the process and that like truly everyone's journey is so different. Listen to yourself and give yourself that grace on this journey, because it's kind of wild. Our thanks to Terry Hu for taking time to talk with us. As for their other projects, Terry says you can also catch them in the short film Americanized out now on Vimeo after two years in the festival circuit. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.